have much low end in it to begin with, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But if you listen to it, it's got a nice bounce to it. So I'm going to remove. And maybe we'll boost a little bit. Not too much though. Always keep in mind that it's better to cut frequencies than it is to boost frequencies. It's what they call subtractive EQing. Obviously I want to bring out more of a sound here in sort of like this upper mid-range around 5k it looks like. It's not a bad way to go but what I'm limiting myself to is plus or minus 6 dB. If I'm having to boost or cut more than that, I may want to go back and rethink whether the, uh, the sound should just be overall louder at that point as opposed to trying to boost it with the EQ. Another thing is, as we're going to discover in terms of our kick drum and our bass, I'm going to drop in our bass now. Now we've already established that this is going to be Now this arpeggiator we're listening to, this is not my, that's my bass sound. And I want that to be really full and rich. But I want to make sure this has a, a chunky bit of uh, low end in it. So what I'm going to do is go through and remove using the same thing and I grab my Rolling off at about 120 hertz. Now I'm going to listen to this bass along with my drum track. So what I'm going to do here is, because uh, this is my, my, my bass sound and I want this to be the driving force of the track, but I also need to cut some room for my kick drum. So one school of thought would be, well, if my kick drum is getting buried by my bass, I'll go to my kick drum sound and I'll boost, uh, I'll try and boost that sound up so it cuts through more. But what you end up doing is kind of doing the one up. As I make this sound louder, other ones are going to disappear. You start having this thing called masking, where one sound is, starts to take over and other sounds will sort of disappear underneath it. So a, a better way in order to make our kick drum come through but without losing too much O-end is uh, to cut out a certain amount of frequencies. So I'm going to grab over here, I want to turn this to a parametric EQ. 